Southgate had plenty of choices to choose in his World Cup 26-man squad. However, some were shocking. So I'm going to try create my own 26-man England squad and see how it compares. Okay, so first up in go, I would put Jordan Pickford. He is the number one. He's been solid throughout when he plays for England. Not much as Everton, but he is still a solid keeper. He did really well in the Euros and he kept pretty much uh, a lot of clean sheets. And he made some crucial saves at some point. So, yeah, by far, Jordan Pickford in go. Just saying how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with the starting 11 and then I'll put the reserves. So now left back, I put Luke Shaw. Like, that's one of the weakest possessions probably. Give it two years ago, Luke Shaw was incredible when COVID happened. But this season, not great. He's been replaced by that malice of at uh, Man United. So it's... It's very hard to choose, but I still go with Luke Shaw for the experience. Um, and there's no other good right left backs. Maybe Cresswell, but I won't go for him personally. So yeah, I'll go Luke Shaw at left back. Left centre back now. Okay, this is where everyone like absolutely wanted Tamori left centre back. Like everyone wanted that. He's such he's such a clinical player. Um, at um, of course AC Milan he's so good defensively he has the pace to keep up with the strikers like Mbappe like Neymar like um, Gabriel Zezus when you're against those type of players you have to just pick him you have to just pick him because he's he's just so solid now in like the middle centre back row I'll go John Stones yes Stonesy um, I would say he's a He's a solid player. He's a great player for Man City. Um, he's played pretty much most of the games this season for Man City. So, yeah, without a doubt, um, he's, he's just a solid player overall. Now, right centre-back, I'm going to put Kyle Walker. Yes, defensively, he's solid. Um, he, can, he can make mistakes now and again, but he's, he, he's got that pace. He's got that pace. However, I think he'll be better in that centre-back row compared to the person at right-back. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, of course, I could have picked, like, a, like a Harry Maguire, Connor Cody, like, any of those lot. But, personally, I would go Carl Walker because he's got the experience and he's still a solid player. Now, right-back. This is where it's very controversial. Reese James is out. So we can't pick him. Who would I go for? I could go for the likes of Trent. I could go for the likes of Trippier. I could go for the likes of Carl Walker's Peters. However, I went with Trippier. Like, he's such a good player. He's so good at... He's also so good at free kicks. So hopefully uh, if we win any free kicks, he'll uh, score. Um, so that would be massive for our team. Um like to get some set piece goals but yeah he's he's such a good player and you have to respect um respect him at newcastle because newcastle are having a great season and it's mostly because of him um i remember the goal he scored for uh, man city like that was incredible um that free kick so yeah 100 percent trippier now right center mid we've got we could go with anyone but however i went with jude bellingham like He's such a young player, but he's so good for a young player. I would love him at the Mighty Reds, but of course, like, like I, I really don't know. Will uh, FSG willing to pay, like, 80 million for him or how much it will be? But, of course, they're leaving. So, uh, they might be leaving. We don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure they will. So, hopefully, a new good owner comes in. But, anyway, let's sidetrack there. Um, yeah, so Jude Bellingham, he's solid for Dortmund. He deserves to play in a prime squad, I would 100%. He'd be so clinical in the prime squad. But yeah, like 100% Jude Bellingham, without a doubt. A left centre mid, I would go with Declan Rice. Yes, Declan Rice. I think overall he's a solid, he's a solid player in the defensive role. He's He hasn't done, like... West Ham hasn't done great this season, but 
they could have done worse without him in the squad because he's he's a heck of a player that can rise i could have went with the likes of calvin phillips but i don't know he's he's in he's kind of injured and he just get got back from injury i know kyle walker has but hopefully he'll get some games going hopefully and get on like the training ground and hopefully he can recover quickly but i really don't know i'd rather especially at the start in the group stage 100 percent play declan rice there now left wing i would go with raheem sterling yes in the euros he carried us he, he scored the most goals or something i'm pretty sure but like he got us out of sticky situations so many times um in the euros and he's so, he's a solid player he's not been playing great at um he hasn't been playing great at uh, chelsea uh, he hasn't been playing great at chelsea however he's just hasn't been playing in the in like the role like he normally plays in so that is a factor of him not doing great but he's doing he, he's still scoring some goals now again um but yeah 100 percent left wing raheem sterling without doubt now right wing i would go at uh, saka 100 percent 100 percent saka is a great player at arsenal um i would say probably my second favorite player are uh, still behind martinelli i love martinelli but saka he's such a good player um he's, he has that pace he has dribbling he has so many unique characters uh unique stats like he's very he's been very good he's been very very good and hopefully he'll do well and hopefully not miss a penalty this time now that means up front i would go with harry kane yes harry kane what a player he is like he's still been bagging 11 goals this season like he is crazy he's a good player um uh, like if it wasn't for Harlan being in the Prem League, he would be one of the best players in the Prem. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 crazy. But he's such a clinical goal scorer. He gets in those positions. He does his job very good, and he can score penalties. Uh, he can score penalties. So yeah, like hundred percent. I would hundred percent, hundred and ten percent go with Kane. Reserves now, and we got Ramsdale and Nick Pope in goal. Two solid keepers for uh, in the Premier League. One for place for Arsenal and one place for Newcastle. And both teams are doing really good this season. So yeah, I decided, you know what, let's put them in go. It's exactly what Gareth Southgate did and I agree with him with this one. Next up is Harry Maguire. Yep, I know, people will hate that. However, I think he's just, he's a, he's a solid player. He's just a solid player and... Um, He's, of course, a good player in the dressing room, but I just, like, you can't, there's barely any centre-backs now. Like, there's barely any English centre-backs that will do a good enough job. So I have to put Harry Maguire in. Next, the right-back, the Scouser himself, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, not been great this season, uh, to be honest, uh, but he's here because of Rhys James. I'll probably still bring him on the plane if uh, Rhys James was injured because he's a solid player. He can he can dictate the game. He can change. He's a different type of uh, f fullback, and he's so unique in like his pat, like with his passing and that. So yeah, hundred percent Trent on the bench. I yeah, that's a good one. Next, we got Ben White. Ben White has done in sensational, sensational for Arsenal, um, and he's he's just re he's just a solid uh, player for Arsenal, and yeah, he deserves to be on the plane. Next, this might be controversial, but I put Connor Cody. Um, there's not really other centre backs like to come on on the bench. There's it's it's we are very weak at the centre back. We very have a weak defence. Full backs. We've got a good range of right backs, but then no left backs. Same with centre backs. That's why it's it's going to be hard if we play a uh, three at the back because we can't really rotate much. But I agree with Connor Cody, and um, yeah, I put Connor Cody there because he's pretty much the only one. I could have went with Dyer, but I think I prefer Connor Cody in the midfield. We've got James Ward Prowse. Yep, James Ward Prowse. He's he's such a good player. He's good at free kicks. Uh, he's good at pretty much everything. He's he can dictate the game. 
uh, he, yeah, he's just an overall really good player for uh, Southampton. He's not in a great team in Southampton, not a great club. However, he does do well for them. Next up, uh, we've got John Henderson. And he's, a, of course, a good captain for Liverpool. Haven't had the best uh, season, but he's still a solid player. So I'll, I'll keep him on the plane. Next up, we've got Mason Mount. And without doubt, fair play to Mason. He deserves to be on the plane. Mason Mount is right now on form, so you have to go with him. And yeah, anyway, now on to forwards. Yes, we only bring in three... Uh, midfielders i just don't think we need that many midfielders in this competition because if we play a two two midfielders like why would we need three so yeah well i say that however i went a lot of forwards um so first up we've got ivan tony ivan tony is smashing it for brentford um he scored two goals against man city today as i'm recording this so He's sensational. He is sensational. And I don't know how he's not in the squad. Another striker now is Tammy Abraham. How is he not in the squad as well? But I don't know. Like, Wilson, Wilson is a good player. He's a really good player. But I would say Tammy Abraham and Tony are better than him. We've got James Madison. Okay. Yeah. James Madison. He is a solid player. He's done well for Leicester. However, well, he's done well in a bad Leicester squad. Um, Brandon Rogers, I don't know what's happening. Over there. He should be sacked by now. But you have to give credit what he's done for the club. But come on, like you can't, you can't do that bad. You can't do that bad. He's done well for the club. Fair dues, but his time at the club is over, apparently for me. Um. So, yeah, however, Madison is sensational. So, yeah, fair play to Madison. He deserved to be on the tra uh, in, on the plane. So, yeah. Three more players now. And we're going to start off with Phil Foden. Phil Foden is a sensational youngster. He, he's just... He's just so good. I, I do like Phil Foden. He can play a lot of range of... Uh, positions which is good he can play left wing he can play center mid like he's a very versatile player and i do really like him um so yeah 100 percent foden deserves to be on the plane another man c player now and we got jackie jackie grealish and yeah he deserves to be on the plane you have to give uh you have you have to bring him on the plane he's a so he's a solid player he was a solid player for villa Last year, he didn't really have much playing time, but he does. He needed to at least. He needed to have some games um, to his belt because he he is a really good player and he can turn up when you need him. So 100% Jackie Jackie Grealish on the plane. Last but not least, we got Rashi Rashford. So yep, Rashford. He's a very versatile like striker, left wing. Right wing, he can play any of the front lines, so that's why I would pick him. He's he's got that he's got good pace. He can run at defenders. He's a solid player, so yeah, he deserves to be on the team. And that's it. That would be my 26 man England squad. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Be very much appreciated. Peace out.